mastery of side mount diving requires divers to meticulously hone a set of fundamental techniques, embracing the challenges with both diligence and finesse. Every diver must be aware of their remaining gas pressure at all times during a dive and regularly check their SPG for confirmation. In the context of side mount diving, monitoring cylinder pressure fulfills an additional function beyond merely tracking the amount of gas available. It is vital to ensure that the cylinders remain balanced by alternating between them within a pressure differential of maximum 30 bars. This practice is crucial for maintaining equilibrium between cylinders, serving multiple important functions with the foremost being the facilitation of effective effective gas sharing in emergency scenarios. The one-handed method of checking the SPG is always preferred as it keeps the other hand available for additional tasks such as sharing gas or holding a DSMB while still allowing for effective gas pressure monitoring. In contrast, although the two-handed method, often learned early in a side mount journey, is highly effective, particularly for those with less flexibility, it presents the drawback of not freeing one hand for additional functions. When performing the one-handed method, always use the arm that corresponds to the side of the cylinder being checked. For the two-handed method, use the opposite hand to assist and pull the cylinder away from your body, while the hand on the same side as the cylinder adjusts the SPG for a clear gauge reading. An equally critical technique involves accurately identifying and switching the regulators. This is crucial, as each side mount diver must be able to determine, without any uncertainty or hesitation, which second stage they are using at any given moment during the dive. The optimal method for identifying regulators is both simple and effective. By raising the right hand with the palm open towards the regulator, much like preparing to grasp the hose to share gas with a teammate or to switch regulators, we can detect the connection between the hose and the second stage. The short hose features a 90-degree elbow, while the long hose has a straightforward connection. Upon sensing the 90-degree with our palm, moving the hand downward will direct it to the long hose, which is clipped to the shoulder D-ring. Unclip the long hose to prepare it for the switch. Remove the short hose regulator and replace it with the long hose second stage. Conversely, if the straight connection of the long hose is felt during the identification process, simply grab the hose, remove the regulator, and switch to the short hose second stage. It is crucial to recognize that all these maneuvers should be executed using only one hand. Contrary to common assumption, one-handed techniques are not exclusive to technical or cave divers but are advantageous in all types of diving. Every scuba diving skill, irrespective of the configuration, should be carried out using only one hand to ensure that the other hand remains available for different tasks and communication at all times. When the long hose regulator is dislodged from the diver's mouth for any reason, the immediate response should be to establish breathing by placing the backup regulator in the mouth. Once breathing is secured, the diver may employ one of two techniques to retrieve the primary regulator. One approach is the sweep method, where the diver moves the right arm in a circular motion while slightly leaning to the side and forward. By trailing the left hand along the right arm, the diver can locate the long hose, replace the regulator, and adjust the hoses if necessary. Alternatively, the reach method involves the diver reaching to the back of the neck, feeling for the hose, grabbing it and pulling it to the front. Both methods are equally effective and straightforward. However, there are no rules regarding the choice of technique. It ultimately depends on personal preference. Although both methods seem easy, executing them while maintaining neutral buoyancy, eye contact with teammates, and awareness of the environment requires consistent practice. The identification of regulators plays a crucial role in gas sharing. In side mount configurations, divers do not consistently use the long hose for breathing, thus making the primary donation protocol less applicable in this context. When breathing from the long hose second stage, the gas sharing procedure remains consistent with other long hose configurations, such as those employed in twin sets or single back mount setups. However, when using the backup necklace second stage, the long hose is secured to the shoulder D-ring, hence the previously outlined regulator identification becomes crucial for effective gas sharing. Divers must be prepared to promptly identify and deploy their long hose in the event of an out-of-gas emergency. To facilitate this, the bolt snap is attached to the long hose using a breakaway mechanism, allowing the diver to simply pull on the hose to detach it quickly and efficiently without the need to unclip it. Thanks for watching and hope you learned something. Consider subscribing to Flow State Divers to become part of the community of conscious divers and to get notified on our upcoming content.